You're going to be hearing a lot of words over the next few days. COP26, net zero, carbon neutral, emissions. Some of those words sound big and confusing, but fear not, here's what they all mean. Let's start with COP26. Now it stands for Conference of the Parties. This year will be the 26th annual conference giving it the name COP26. It's attended by the countries that signed the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, which is basically a list of promises from lots of countries who all want to tackle climate change and help the planet. World leaders will talk about reducing the amount of pollution their countries create and reaching something called net zero. So, what does net zero mean? Well, net zero is the point at which a country is taking as much of all these climate changing gases out of the atmosphere as it is putting it in. Think of it like a massive balancing act. All the emissions we create from heating our homes, driving cars, farming will have to be avoided completely or cancelled out by doing things like planting trees or sucking CO2 out of the atmosphere. CO, what now? CO2 means carbon dioxide, a naturally occurring gas, which is also a major product of human activity, such as burning fossil fuels like coal. We do that to make electricity and heat our homes. Increasing levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere means more heat is contained in our planet, causing it to warm up. Now, you might hear a bit of talk about 1.5 degrees. What's all that about? Well, scientists watch really, really closely to see how much our planet is heating up. Experts say if we can keep average temperature rises below 1.5 degrees, we will avoid the worst impacts of climate change. So that's below a rise of 1.5 degrees. So how do scientists work this all out? Well, they compare the average temperature rises of our planets now to something called pre-industrial times. So that's before we opened up big factories, burnt fossil fuels and drove cars everywhere. The world has already warmed up about one degree Celsius since then. What are emissions? Well, emissions are any release of gases such as carbon dioxide, a major cause of climate change. They can be small scale from uh, maybe an exhaust from a car or even a cow that lets out methane. That's a uh, wind to you and me. Or large scale ones such as those from coal burning power stations. They all emit emissions. How about greenhouse gases? Now we're not talking about that glass looking shed in your nan's garden. Greenhouse gases in the atmosphere absorb heat, energy, and prevent it escaping into space. Now this keeps the earth warmer than it would be without these gases. And remember, we don't want to see the planet warming up. Scientists say a rise of anything above 1.5 degrees wouldn't be good. Okay, last up. Renewable energy. Now you've probably heard this one at school or maybe even at home. Renewable energy is energy from sources that will renew themselves within our lifetime. So we're talking about things like wind, sun and water. We can all use those things to create energy. So how are they better? Well, they can provide energy without the planet warming effects of fossil fuels. That's because renewable energy sources such as solar and wind don't emit carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases that contribute to global warming. So there you go, net zero greenhouse gases. Hopefully that gives you a better idea about what some of those words mean.